Thank you guys for everything this far, okay? We ain't doing nothing but climbing this little bridge and we're going to be getting higher and higher. I'm trying to see 100K real soon, okay? So I have to get on that ball game and dish it out, okay? Because I got all type of goodness. All type of goodness. So we ain't even going to let that bother us, all right? So at the end of the day, hopefully before the end of the year, I could see 100K, all right? So... If we can make that happen, let's make that happen, my honeys. And then we got to discuss what we going to do for the honey K, all right? <laughs> so, share this video, like this video, share any of my videos that you like for that matter. So that, therefore, it can get out there and get seen. And people would know that they going to get these facts when they come over here in Kale's Nation. We're not sugarcoating or hiding anything. If you want a natural, flawless, don't even look like you got makeup on, makeup look, my honeys, then please stay tuned and continue to watch this video. It gives you all the tea on how to fix a face in basically five minutes, okay? Even though the video 50 minutes. <laughs> We're not going to let that bother. But stay tuned, my honeys. All the tea will be spilled coming soon. Hey, my honey. So today we are at the top of the morning. Okay, we just did a skin routine video, so that skin is glowing. But we will be doing some quick fall makeup. Okay, so I guess this is my go-to fall makeup. This this has been my makeup look for the whole fall season. I think it was like towards the end of the summer. I like wait. It wasn't a discovery, my honeys, but it was like a. I need something simple because it takes me three hours to actually do makeup and do all that when basically I could keep it simple with only using four items. So let's get started. <laughs> We're gonna dive right into brows, okay? Like this, this, this is just it. And I have not really been doing um, in depth brows, but the way that I've been doing it makes it look in depth. A little bit goes a long way, mind So I'm using today. Elf so I just you know I've already brushed them up and everything so I just go ahead brush them all up basically my main thing is my defined line right here at the front I don't care about nothing else because when I go to do that concealer, which I use a brighter color, now they say use what, two shades lighter? I use about five. It makes it look so sharp and crisp and I didn't even really go that far back with the pencil or do all that. I start right at the beginning of that brow. Then everything else for me, my honeys, at this point, I just kind of brush through the little hairs. Feel that right in. <laughs> then I go in and brush it down. This way you can get in there and see. what needs to be filled in, what gaps is there. Like this eye to me is just so perfect. There's not a gap in there. But this one has that little gap right there. I'm gonna fill that in. But you do the one eye you want to try to do to the other so it's like they never really match but if you're that good you get them to match then I comb everything up see where I'm at you don't want them to be too off I 
let's see so I filled that one in, that little gap. You wanna kinda try to match it at this point. Cause once I combed it up, I see that this one is not as in depth as this one. So I will go in and try to make them, you know, match. Cause my goal here is not to have to really even touch the top with any type of foundation or concealer. I want it to just be perfect. Because once I just go in with that bottom, y'all, I mean to tell you, it, it comes together like you did a whole face and you didn't. So I'm not going to go too much into it. But when you go in trying to draw lines and do all that, you, you really got to get into being an artist and have to correct everything and make it right and perfect. But if you do that little bit that goes a long way, you don't even have to do that much. And sometimes you can't just see your brows like just looking at them. You have to frown, see the difference, look up, see the difference be regular see the difference and then you like boom I see where it needs it then I go in and kind of just get that line out of there nothing major because I like my line to stand out I'm just spreading that line up into those hairs so any sparse areas that line is kind of filling it in because I'm just moving it up in there so I'm kind of moving it where the hair is more thinner so it could appear not spursy right and then that's it It looks natural. It doesn't look like a cakey pencil was in there or anything. Now this line is being stubborn. Right? So I take that pencil and I start drawing strokes. From that line. I kind of took that stubbornness look out of there and then I go in and kind of just clear those strokes out and move it into the little thin hairs that's there and then it starts to look fuller that's what I like about this pencil because you can get in there and you can do that this is not oily it comes out matte and I use my cover girl, y'all know that. Define the line cover girl. And it's more of an oily type of thing. So by the time you rub on it, it's, it's on your fingers rubbing off. And that's by Maybelline. But this e.l.f., I done just rubbed on it, it ain't go nowhere. So it's kind of locked and loaded. Once I got them filled in how I want them, Pretty much they're filled in and they're very natural looking. So I go in with this LA Girl Pro. And this is Parcelin. I go right on, put it on the back of my hand. I have no problem with that. But this is how we do that. I'm talking about this is so simple, my honey. This is my Heal the Beauty. She all crunched up, chippy. And that just comes from washing her. She has a flat side for the brows that I will be shaping. And then she has a fluffy side, which I will be blending out. So this is my favorite brow brush at this point, my honeys. And um, I, wa I do wash it, and that's why it's all chippy and looking woody but it has not broken apart yet and if it do I would be gluing that back together because 
it's my fade it's the only one I have so I take that and put it on the front of the brush the back of the brush you want your brush saturated with this stuff because as you're drawing you don't want it to start going dry on you and then it's, it will mess up your sleekness of it you know your smooth rolling of it if it's a dry brush it will be more shaky that you won't get that precise brow like that so I start at my line this is gonna bring my line out Once I get that drew on there, my honeys, I need to see where I'm at. And the only way you're going to see where you're at is to start pulling this down. Or pat it down. Because when you drag it down, you're just sliding all that down and it, it creates lines in there. I done flipped that brush so therefore I could use the product that was on the other side as well. Cause you don't want to take away from the color see if I drag this it's, it's looking like you know liney it's, it's sheer but if I pat it it's keeping all that product right there just bringing it down right right it look, look crazy right <laughs> But I gotta see where I'm at. So I'll go ahead and blend all that in. Patting around where the brow area is. Cause you want that to stay nice and bright. And the more you drag on it, you're just pulling that product away and it's looking sheer. When I get down here, I don't really care. I swipe that in and make sure it's boom. But when you up here, you just want to pat it in so it can set. I, I'm distributing it everywhere, okay, away from that brow. You don't want it in there cakey. So if you got to drag it out, pat it out this way, pat it more going out that way. I don't usually go all the way out. If I have it too much over here, I just bring it down around that eye I'm looking in the mirror I see what I want done I need this to come up just a little more now I could go in with my pencil I will probably use this one because it comes it, it more of it comes out and it will be darker but I do want it to come up a little more because I want it to look like eh, eh, okay, instead of just eh. Okay, my honey, so at this point, I could go in and define whatever I want with that brow as far as if I need a little more around that, you know, lighter part. If I lost my line up in here, I will go in and darken it up. It's already blended, so you really don't have to blend it, you just darken your line.
So you got to drag this product somewhere, right? I just go ahead and drag it on down more towards under the eye because once you go and put your foundation under there, it's already a layer that will help brighten that area out, okay? If you got these bags like I got, it will help kind of, you know, dumb down them, them bags. And what you don't want to do while you go over here and do the other eye is just leave concealer sitting there. So, because once it dries, it is set. It's set. So you have to distribute it. You have to get it out of there some way, somehow, and don't have the horseshoe lines with it anywhere. That's why I'm spreading it out, making everything smooth. Because by the time I get over here and it takes me five minutes, all this is going to be dry. So if you leave little specks and dots there, that will definitely shine through any makeup. It won't be a smooth look. So get it out the way now. Just dragging it. And when, the more you drag on it, it gets sheerer and sheerer. But the more you pat, it stays right in place and stays as bright as you want it to stay. So down here, we don't want that this bright. So we're going to drag it. Okay. We're going to drag it out. Boom. Now, once you put your foundation on, you will never know all that is there. All you're going to focus on is that lid area. Okay? Boom. Okay, my honeys. I know it looks scary. <laughs> but I got everything outlined, okay? I got my concealer under here. I think it match, okay? We kind of almost targeted, but we ain't going to let that bother us, okay? So now, I got everything spread it and distributed, okay? And what I like to do is, because you get that creasing up in there. You get that creasing. You have to clean that out before you move further. But since I'm working eye to eye, I only do one eye at a time. So I'm going to clean that out. All that creasing. Okay. And then I like to go in with my foundation. So, this one is my Smash Box, okay, 15 hour wear. This is in the shade, it says 4.15, so I'm going to just take that and run with it. So, I take this same thing, as you can see, I got the darker color in the tip. I use more of this tippy part for my white and dab and do all that, but then when I go in with this, I use the other side. I use both sides. But whatever the case may be, I'm going to go in with it and I put it on the flat side. And then I go around my eyeball. This is just my foundation. So you know how you will put your shadow on my honey? And you will do it something like this. You want to get it real intense down there. And then start patting your way up so that it could blend out. That's what you really would do. And this is what we're using for everything. So I'm just going. I feel like I got a little too much on this brush to go ahead and start patting it upward. So I'm going to put the rest of it wherever it needs to be. You see what I'm saying? I haven't even put a coat of anything under my eye. I put that little bit and it already made the eye brighter and everything. So once I finally go in and put the rest of the foundation down there, it's going to be bright and hopefully kind of cover up that little uh, baggage. So now I just take it. I got majority off my brush. I start going up. Blending blending I'm kind of blending and swiping down so that the white will come down and mix with it and it won't be a horseshoe foundation line we ain't gonna let that bother us either because 
we can fix that. Hit them corners, don't let nothing sit there and settle because once it's dry, it's dry. If you feel like you have a harshy line here from the um the concealer and that makeup, you I still got this brush that I haven't used for anything but the white. I go right back along that white line and pat over that harshy line. go back in and blend again with whatever's left on this brush from my foundation I just go blend again tap 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 at this point everything is a tap tap when it's wet tapping it blends it better than swiping it boom so now I'll take my sponge and I hit all these areas around that eye. I'm hitting that corner so all this bling blends seamlessly around there, that whole C. So now, my honeys, I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, okay? It's like a little nudie palette. I use this shade right here because it matches me. It's called Raw Cena. <laughs> Raw Cena. Okay, but it matches me, so... It kind of will go in and set all of that, okay? And then kind of help blend that out some more. But like I said, before you add another layer, my honey, you got to make sure them corners is right. Ain't no creasing, ain't nothing going on. It's still tacky. It's not completely dry, so this will stick to it perfectly. I'm putting it on that brush. You don't want too much, so you kind of tap off the little excess because it will make it cakey. I start tapping right in that corner. Just to hurry up and set it. Now once that corner dry, it will never crease. Period. Because it's already set.
the eyeshadow matches my foundation okay it's not to the T but it's enough that it just set it and made it more in depth and then it kind of blended it out a little more better to the point where it's you know it doesn't just look like harshy liney okay now if you get that harshy liney again after you do that you always go back with your old brushes okay that's pretty much it like I don't think this is too harshy liney but I could just go in and just dab a little bit only so I could go right back in and blend it again so it's kind of like you're starting over in that section and it'd be a little more seamless you know tap 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 you cannot never over tap yeah there you go you don't want one to overpower the other you know you want to kind of keep them both balanced so I don't want my white to look like it's coming too far down but then I don't want my color to look like it's going too far up so you want it balanced Cause technically when this stuff starts drying, it kind of start looking way better. It will look way better and then it be matte and it just be seamlessly cute. If you follow these steps, because like I said, you have to make sure you get them corners together before anything. It's not getting even creasing or crunching. It looks seamless. So when you put your lashes on and you're looking down at a paper, the only thing people are going to say is that eye makeup is bomb. I get it all the time. And with this look for me, it's so natural. It's so natural. And they ask me like, how do you get your eyes like that? How do you do that? I said, I'm going to make a video on it. Because <laughs> literally, my honey, I have been wearing this look all fall, basically. Towards the end of the summer, fall. I think fall is what our shortest month I mean our shortest season because winter is forever no I, I feel like summer is probably the shortest and then fall is definitely pretty short and then you got winter which is the longest and then you got spring so maybe summer is the shortest and then fall is the next runner up so you got all this white stuff. We're going to narrow this down. You got all this white stuff going on over here. You went in and then you put your makeup, your own color over all of that. And it just brightened that up. Okay. It doesn't shine through and look spooky or anything. It brightened it up. So it looks good and natural. And I haven't even went in to add any more of my makeup. I did. I think I did. I already did because I wanted to show you guys how this whole side would look. You know versus how it looked now. So I already did go in and kind of add my little makeup where I was gonna add it, which is usually over all that white stuff, okay? And then as you add it over that white stuff to kind of cover it up or whatever, you're cleaning it up, but you're covering it up, you gotta kind of just blend it out wherever need be. So, you know, just, you got to stretch it because you don't want no globs or anything anywhere. So it has to go somewhere. I don't care where it go. I'll bring it around on nose or, you know, stuff like that. Because the, the, the more I do that, the less I have to actually put on my whole face. And I don't like wearing clothes and my makeup be everywhere, you know. So the minimum for me is the is better. But I know um, some of my honeys may have, like different skin for me to the point where you will need a full coverage type of thing you know what I'm saying but guess what you could still start up here and whatever you don't use up here or need you drag it everywhere else you drag it everywhere else I don't care where it's at that stuff is still in this sponge it really never went nowhere the only way you know that it's actually gone if you dab your hand and don't see nothing and you're like oh, okay I got it everywhere and now you just go in and hit 
your spots. Like for example, I have a spot right here. You can barely see it, but it's a spot right here. My nose, I was just sick. It's black right here. Okay, I have them two little blow your nose spots, okay? I put majority of that foundation where I was going to put it, then I go in and kind of hit spots now. I don't have to go and do any more like a whole thing. I just hit spots. And then I take that sponge. And that spot got to go somewhere too. So I'll continue it on over the other spots and just keep it going. Or well, I just take the sponge and put whatever's left on my hand and then dab it in a certain area and just get to going in. But it's, it's not much left on my hand because I've used it for my eyes. Is y'all catching my drift? <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. And this is just me with my natural look. Like, I don't really... The little spots I have, I don't really try to hide them because I don't want to look fake all the time. I don't want to always be pretty, you know. I just want to mainly have them cat eyes. That's what I be on is my eyes. But... I don't want somebody to been seeing me without the makeup. Like, oh, girl, where your thing on makeup? Because you, you bring out your own flaws when you do that to yourself. Wearing all that makeup. And you got to hurry up and run somewhere real quick. Nobody never knew you had black eyes, bags, blemishes. It is what it is, okay? But you hide it all the time. Nobody will never know that. So when they see you without it, oh, and gee, it's terrible. I've been there, trust me. It took KJ to kind of help me get out of that. You know what I mean? Because I had, I was pregnant. Who, who about to walk around trying to do all that? You know what I'm saying? I'm already fat and heavy. And then I was selling food. So I'm just kind of like, you know, I ain't in the mood. I got to do all the cooking all day and then get cute and then do it. So I just kind of let it go. And at first it was like an insecure thing. Oh my God, I'm going to look a mess without my makeup. And then it just became natural because I got the same effect okay the men were still on me the men was still oh your skin is beautiful and it, it, it builded my confidence back up you know from what the makeup took from me and i was just kind of like okay it is i said no i got a bump here here and there baby i didn't even know if you wouldn't have pointed it out. you know when the men talk to you baby you listen and you take it from there okay so if he didn't think i was cute I had the big head from him telling me I was cute and it went from there and I just was like yeah I ain't got it with that makeup stuff so now I just do it for my honeys but you know when I'm going out on the occasion I do makeup why wouldn't I get cute but on a regular day I would go ahead and put me some lashes on with the whole black eyes and everything okay but when I just want to get cute nowadays this is the look I go to that eye is very natural. I feel like we're going to go in with these brows. Okay, it's the corners for me. We want to just define them. I'm using a darker pencil. So all I need is a few swipes. That's all she wrote. <laughs> My lines up here looks good. At the front, they're as dark as I like them. But if you like yours darker, because mind you, it just brings the look out. If I made this one a little darker, very light hand. But you see how I made that one darker. And then I go in over here. But when you know your products and what you're dealing with and working with, it makes this process so much easier, okay? It took me time to learn how to deal and work with what I got or whatever because you would think, I don't need all them brown pencils or whatever, but 
why would you need a pencil and a dip brow, okay? A dip brow gives you a different effect from a pencil. But then you have two pencils. This pencil doesn't come on as heavy as this pencil. Like, this pencil is a one hit a quitter. You don't want to start off with all that and do that and then you mess up and, you know, so when you want to do, just start off light, like a rough draft, you got that pencil to do that with. Elf is a good pencil. I could do my whole brow with it and call it a day. But sometimes it take a little more digging just to get the color to show up with Elf. So I know for sure my Maybelline is coming right on. That's Maybelline. That's Elf. So, real fine point, real thin. It's not as dark, okay? The color of this Elf is a, it's a natural brown, okay? And the color of this Maybelline is a brownish black. So this one is definitely darker. It gets me that little, you know, defined look when I need it. But I like to go in with this or whatever and just rough draft it out. And then when it's all said and done and I want to fix my arches and do all that, I probably will use this so it could just get it on, on the point, on the spot. But but done. Now I would just go on in and give myself just a definition of a line, okay? I'm not doing a wing or nothing, but this look is sexy with a wing to my honey. I just like to go ahead and go. Just right above that lash line, because when I throw them lashes on, you at least wanna have something right there to kinda help hide that band. I do add to my lower uh, lash line because that's my thing. I love it. And I, I, li I really can't go without a wing. Like, I can't. But since I've been doing this look, I ain't been messing with no wing. <laughs> I ain't even need no wing. This look could even be cute, my honeys, with the white eyeliner right there. And then, you know because of the white up there and this ain't even white but it looks white now I put this on my eye now but I only bring it halfway easy peasy I'm gonna take the brown out of this same palette Cyrus Umber right there and then I'ma just kind of smudge that in with the black and mix it and you know, so it don't be so harshy. And instead of bringing the eyeliner all the way around, I bring that brown all the way around. And it gives it like an illusion of, you know, you having that around there. If you having an eyeliner around the whole that on high and you down. Because you want to keep some point, you know, bright. And by the way, this brush here is an Anastasia brush. I don't think it came with this palette, but that's how they usually come. So I think I got at least three Anastasia palettes and it came inside one of them. Two ended brush, I love them. You lose some of your blackness on that corner because that's what I care about is my cat eye. So I just put it back right there. Right on the uh, water line. And it show water. Okay, my honeys, I go in with a little shine on the cheeks. I start my shine going right in there like that. I just dab it there, right? Then I just work my way down and up and around wherever I'm going to put it in this area, but 
I keep it high. Gotta hit that nose. I hit that bridge. You notice your nose is a little triangle. It's like, eh, eh, eh. I put the shine right in that little dot looking like Rudolph. Yes, I do. But I put this here too. And I think I do that because, you know, I have these black marks from being sick. And I put some underneath the dang on lip. You would not imagine, my honeys, how many facial expressions you make a day, okay? Like, you be sitting there talking to people, this, that, and the third, and you be like, <laughs> or, you know, when you be like, I don't know how to explain it, but you make so many facial expressions that, in your mind, you may not see it, but other people be like, she really glowing. Her lips look nice. What's that around her lips and her cheeks and stuff like that, so... That's what inspires me, you know, to kind of sometimes go over and beyond. But then again, sometimes I don't. Because that little bit goes a long way. Now, if you feel like you did too much shine, you just take a brush and then you kind of just blend it in. Nude it out. I ain't using no brush in particular. Now, I stops right here. I be good. But if you want to get real technical, it seems as if I don't have a contour in front of me. But if you want to get real technical, some people will put that little contour right there and just darken that up and make that cheek stand down, do all that. I put it right on this bone. So coming from like this little part of the ear for real there. But then again, I want it to cuff around. So I kind of bring it up here, like from the top of my ear. From here, going down towards the lip. That's how I would do it. This is makeup. Same makeup I put under my eyes. I put it on there now. I'm just blending out these edges. I like to bring my contour up to That little brush was not cutting it, so I got this brush. This is a foundation brush. You know how they was using them brushes for their foundation? I personally um, used it one time when I did my maternity uh, video. I used it. I liked it. It gets in there. And that's just was to give me some darkness back because maybe I put, you know, you got your makeup on and you just look white or whatever, but 
I wanted a little darkness back to my skin color and my face and all that. So you just add that little, what's the name my honey? And it just brings, it kind of brings it out. But I usually don't do that because this is not, a, this is my everyday look. You know it really come together with that lash on. And I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do the swoop bang. Lashes we will be wearing today, my honeys, is some chaos hair and beauty lashes. Okay, these lashes is number 33 on the website, but they are also known as slayage. Okay, these is your slayage lashes, so they real choppy looking and they just make that eye pop and look so sexy okay so these are like one of my faves on the slayage side so we will be putting lash on and then I think it'll all come together like okay like yeah oh I gotta do lips too I gotta do lips I'm not gonna do lash and then from there we'll see what else is next but other than that I think at this point my honey I'm going to go ahead and try to dip off into the, getting these lashes on and I'll be right back. And remember my honeys, the key to having a good natural looking skin makeup routine is to have clean skin so if you did not go and check out my facial routine of how i clean my skin please go do so at this time i will link it below or within this video but that's flawless that's flawless and you gotta scrub that extra layer off just to get that skin to look seamless my honeys no crunchy no anything that looks natural she looks good all right i will continue to bring these videos for my honeys because i just love y'all so much so much okay please um forgive my for lovers only voice but then the vibes that she's giving me my honey do y'all get the same vibe or no <laughs> okay my honeys this is the fitola i love it Y'all know I love it because I've been wearing it every day. So, <laughs> this is how I like to do my everyday makeup, okay? I am going to call it the fall makeup because I recently just started doing this every day, okay? I love that highlight, okay? It's like 30 million times lighter than me. But I love that highlight up there. I also love the nude eye. If my honeys want a video on full coverage makeup, okay, that means the whole shebang, because this is what I do, okay? I don't do anything major. I just do my tools and my few as long as them eyes is going, I'm good with that. But, you know, I know I got some extra honeys. <laughs> so, I can get pretty extra from time to time. That's just fine with me, so. If you want that video, leave me a comment below and let me know, okay? And anything in that matter, like whatever you want to see next, leave me a comment below and let me know, okay? Because you see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm back. I got to make me another checkoff list and we're there. So are we going to start here with these comments? Let me know so I can start my checkoff list and get these videos pushing, okay? So my brows, um, I didn't actually go back in and you know contour the top or anything like that you didn't put any foundation up here i just kind of patted it so that it, my skin color would blend with what's down here that's it so if you want to see the whole shebang with the detailed brows and everything because i know some of my honeys don't have full brows you know so you gotta like wait know how to hit them spurs areas this that a third 
which I have a brow tutorial up, but um, I won't say I'll do a whole nother brow tutorial unless you want that, leave it in the comment. But, um, you know, my next video, I will go more in depth with the brows as far as the look, okay? When we do our full coverage, if that's what my honeys want. And don't forget to go and check out my website, my honeys, kaleshairandbeauty.com. Go on head over there right now and grab you a few items, okay? Go shop with Kales, okay? Because it's enough to go around. I made sure that all my honeys, my loyals, my all of that, had what they needed to have approaching this fall and this winter okay let me know when you get there because i message you there as well okay i know when there's visitors coming and everything and i just go in and message so shoot me a hello or however and we could chat there we could chat on instagram okay you guys know i'm gonna leave that somewhere we could chat anywhere if you want to okay so if it's here we in the comments okay comment gang all that okay like share subscribe do all that my honeys okay i am here for it and i am here for you okay hit that notification bell so therefore you won't be missing this tea that i spill because i gives it all to you uncut and raw I'm trying to tell you i'm trying to get my honeys everything that they could see all in one walk you don't have to watch me for hair and then go over there and watch this person for that no you can watch my channel for everything that you watch on youtube you will not get enough of me okay we're cooking we're eating we're doing hair we're doing makeup okay we're doing styles and clients and whatever you want to do we can do some nails okay i don't do acrylic or nothing but i'm trying to grow my real nails back i just took that set off and uh well it's been a while but my nails is going through the ugly stage my honey so i wear a lot of these I got a whole heap load of them, okay, and different colors, different styles. I got the coffin ones, the stiletto ones, the little regular basic ones. I got every one you could think of, and I usually put them on, but I polished my nails because I didn't have them on this particular night, and I had white polish in my car, so I did it in my car before I went into the spot. <laughs> and that's just how that played out, but it don't last long on my nails. My nails are still not back. But when my nails get back and my nails be right, my honeys, I be polishing my nails and creating little looks on them and all that. We could do all that on this channel. At this point of the video, <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one. Uh, 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 the next one. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Y'all know I'm extra. Bye, guys. Love you guys.